The BiGrid framework is a model developed by three professors, Patrick J. Robinson, Charles W. Farris, and Yoram Wind, in 1967. The BiGrid model is a framework that describes the organizational buying process and the decision stages involved in different types of purchases. The BiGrid model covers the purchase decision process at B2B, also called industrial buying the sale and purchase of goods and services between companies. The BiGrid model contains eight buying phases. There are also three categories of buying situations. These three categories of buying situations are new tasks, modified rebuy, and straight rebuy. New tasks involve buying goods and services the company has never previously bought. Modified rebuy of goods and services occurs when members of the organization are not satisfied with the product previously purchased, or there have been changes to circumstances which impact the buying decision. A straight rebuy occurs when the company purchases a standard product or service the organization has bought many times before. We will now look at the eight buying phases for each buying situation. The first phase is problem recognition. Here, the company's buyers recognize a need that can be satisfied by buying a product or a service. All three buying situations new task, modified rebuy, and straight rebuy, go through the problem recognition phase. Step two in the buying phase is the determination of characteristics and quantity of products or services needed. In this phase, a description of the product or services requirements must be prepared. When making a new purchase, a new task, a thorough description of the requirements you set for the purchase is essential. In the case of a modified rebuy, this step may be necessary depending on how much the circumstances of the requirement for the product or service have changed. In the case of straight rebuy, it is uncomplicated because you buy as usual, so specification of requirements is unnecessary. Buying Phase 3, Product Specification, is where the specification of the product or service is determined. In this phase, a systematic product analysis, a cost analysis and other analyses of the product or service identified in Phase 2 are carried out. For all three buying situations, new task, modified rebuy and straight rebuy, it is necessary to determine the quantity and requirements of the specific product or service. In Phase 4, the search for potential suppliers and preliminary evaluation of their suitability, the buyer and his team look at which supplier should be chosen. This means finding the supplier who can deliver the product you specified in Phase 3. When considering a purchase decision for a brand new task, finding the right supplier is a crucial phase. This may be different if the purchase is a modified rebuy. If the product is almost identical to the previous purchase, a search for a new supplier is not necessary. But if there are extensive changes, it will be necessary to search for a new supplier that meets the new requirements. In the case of a straight rebuy, the purchase can be made from the same supplier as usual. The fifth phase, acquisition and initial analysis of proposals, samples from suppliers, is about obtaining and analyzing offers. When the purchase is a new task, very detailed specifications must be prepared for potential suppliers and a preliminary analysis of proposals and samples from potential suppliers undertaken, as this purchase is new to all participants. In the case of a modified rebuy, 
It is only meaningful if there have been changes to the product. Otherwise, it is not. For a straight rebuy situation, you use the same supplier as you usually do, which makes an acquisition of proposals irrelevant. Phase 6 – Evaluation of Proposals and Selection of Suppliers In this phase, the company's buyers look thoroughly at the proposals made by the suppliers. Again, we need to consider the three different purchase situations when it comes to this sixth phase, the evaluation and negotiation of proposals. For new purchases, evaluation of proposals is an essential step before the supplier is selected. In the case of a modified rebuy, if the change in the service or the product is significant, there will be an assessment, otherwise it will not be necessary. In the case of a modified rebuy, if the change in the service or the product is significant, there will be an assessment, otherwise it will not be necessary. In buying phase 7, we have to consider the process to select an order. Practical considerations such as delivery time, place and possibly transport modes are agreed upon here. When specifying orders for all three types of purchase situations, it is crucial to agree on the place, time and mode of transport in the contract. The last phase, 8, is the evaluation phase. Performance, review, feedback and evaluation. Where the delivery is checked to ensure the correct service or product has been delivered at the right quantity, the right quality and the correct price. Evaluation is in the eighth and final phase in all three buying situations. Now that we have reviewed the buy grid model, let us consider an example from a university that wants to promote pedagogy and will invest in new technology. They decide to buy new interactive whiteboards. Since the purchase of the interactive whiteboards is entirely new for the university, and since it is a significant expenditure because interactive whiteboards are expensive, we find ourselves in a new purchase situation, a new task. The problem is that we lack modern whiteboards. In phase two, the buyer and his team research the capabilities of these interactive whiteboards. What are the demands of the teachers? The buyers and the decision makers ask the teachers and other relevant stakeholders in the organisation and influencers for their input to the purchase decision. The buyer prepares a product specification in Phase 3 based on the input in Phase 2. In addition, he estimates how many boards are needed. Now, we have reached phase four. Search for potential suppliers. Who can supply these boards? And who are we interested in buying from? In phase five, the buyer receives proposals from the selected suppliers and analyzes the various offers they have received. In phase six, the proposals are evaluated and the suppliers are selected. The buyer and his team select the final supplier in Phase 7, and the order is submitted. It is based on the best terms that have been negotiated in Phase 6. In the eighth and last phase, the order is delivered to the university, and then the delivery is checked to see if everything is as agreed in the contract. After the delivery, the university concluded they must have more boards. In this case, we have a modified rebuy situation and look at all eight phases again. Since it is a modified rebuy, we look at overall compliance. If the university is satisfied with the boards delivered the first time, nothing needs to be done. But if they wish to have new features, for example, Changes must be made in Phase 2.
If they decided to purchase different boards, they may also have to go through the supplier search again, which is phase 4, to find the right supplier for the new version of boards. In addition, there will be a collection of proposals and analysis in phase 5 and an assessment and negotiation of proposals in phase 6. The sometimes in the model depends a lot on how modified the rebuy is or whether the university is happy to purchase the same boards as before and thus the purchase is a straight rebuy. If we assume that the university buys the same boards because they are delighted with them, then we have a straight rebuy situation. Here we have problem recognition. We need more boards, but there must be a product specification that the supplier can hold up to and an order specification and control. We only need to handle phases 1, 3, 7 and 8. We now have provided an overview of the bi-grid model and listed an example from university of the use of the model. Here we see an overview of the three purchase situations and phases. You will often see a picture like this in textbooks. And now we have an explanation of the pluses and minuses and the sometimes scenarios when there are uncertainties and decisions to be made prior to initiating the purchase process. Let us now consider a critique of the model. The model may be criticised when considering a modified rebuy as there are no guidelines. When is it modified? When is it not modified? And when does it turn into a straight rebuy? This is a matter of personal judgement. In summary, the bi-grid framework is a good and straightforward model for working with the purchase decision process at a B2B level, where companies trade with one another.